Hello, this is Tori with Landio. We have a new 40-acre ranch in Southern Colorado. This property has amazing mountain views. It's close to public land, 6,000 acres of public land with a river and canyon. And you also have electricity, telephone, and internet just north of the property. We have amazing views of the Spanish Peaks and the Sangre de Cristo mountain range. There are 26 miles of professionally engineered and constructed roads with electricity lines and poles already in place along with underground telephone and internet lines. So we're going to look at the property on our interactive map. So this is the 40 acre parcel right here. It's 40.13 acres. And this is Vista View Road. We're going to take a look at this road here in a minute. But there's a 60 foot wide easement that connects directly with Vista View Road that runs along the entire west side of the property. And then on the northwest corner, there's a seasonal pond. And then along Vista View Road is where the electricity lines and poles that are already in place, along with the underground telephone and internet lines. This is a photo of the pond on the northwest portion of the property. So we zoom out a little bit further, you can see that Vista View Road connects directly with County Road. 122 and then just to the east you have the Cucheras River and Canyon. If we zoom out a little bit here you can see all this yellow shaded area. This is all BLM land. This is all public land. There's roughly 6,000 acres of BLM land here all throughout this river and canyon. And if we turn on our topographic map you can see the elevation is about 5,800 feet at the top of the canyon. And then if we look down here at the river at the bottom you can see that the elevation is around 5,300 feet. So that's roughly 500 feet in elevation change right along this canyon. So it creates these dramatic views, which you can see here. And this 6,000 acres of BLM land is there for your enjoyment. It's just about 1.3 miles east of the property. This area is rich in native wildlife. It's desirable for hiking, hunting, horseback riding, photography, bird watching. Some of the wildlife in the area includes bighorn sheep, elk, mountain lion, white-tailed deer. And if we zoom out even further, you can see the property is surrounded by public land. Over here, you have Greenhorn Mountain in the San Isabel National Forest. You have more BLM land. To the east, you have the Comanche National Grasslands. There's lots of state parks and wildlife areas all around here, which are shaded blue. More BLM land, which is shaded yellow. You have this purple, which is the Great Sand Dunes National Park. And you're in close proximity to Interstate 25 to the west of the property. So Interstate 25 runs north and south along the front range. Interstate 25 will take you south down to Trinidad, and then it'll take you north up into Pueblo. Pueblo has a population around 110,000. Next, you'll have Colorado Springs, and then on up into Denver. So you've got great access to all these nearby towns and cities. And then Walsenburg right here has a population around 3,200. Right along Interstate 25 and State Highway 10. In Walsenburg, you can find medical care, groceries, supplies, pretty much anything you need. The property has been professionally surveyed and staked. There are clearly identifiable boundary markers on on the property and it's 40.13 acres which you can see highlighted here in green it's track 107b and there's the pond indicated on the survey as well and here we are zoomed out on the survey with all the meets and bounds and we'll provide you with a copy of this as well this is a photo looking west along vista view road there you can see the electricity lines and poles this is a neighbor across the road with a log home and this is greenhorn mountain in the san isabel national forest this is another photo looking west standing in vista view road what you see all along here covering the field is dried sunflowers. This is a photo of a comparison of what these sunflowers look like in the spring. And here's another representation of the sunflowers in bloom. Some cattle that were grazing in the area. Here's another photo looking at the Spanish peaks in the Sangre de Cristo mountain range. This is looking to the west at Greenhorn Mountain in the San Isabel National Forest. And here we have a view of Silver Mountain, Mount Mestis, and Rough Mountain. This is looking to the north and on a clear day you can even see Pikes Peak. Several of the nearby landowners have developed their properties to varying degrees. This is the neighbor to the north across Vista View Road. They have a log home, a large detached garage, a barn, corral. This is another photo looking at the home across the road. Here's another neighbor with a stucco home with a clay tile roof. And this landowner has a nice metal building on their property. This neighbor to the southwest has a log home. There's a corral for their animals. And these are Google Earth terrain views. This is south of the property looking north. Now we're southeast looking to the northwest. This is east of the property looking west. There you can see the dramatic elevation change throughout the Cucheras Canyon. And to the west, as we pointed out in the photos, there is Greenhorn Mountain in the San Isabel National Forest. There's Blanca Peak, Sheep Mountain, Silver Mountain, Mount Mestis, Rough Mountain. Now we're north of the property looking south. So you have Vista View Road, the 60 foot wide easement. There's the pond on the property. 
property. Now we're northwest looking to the southeast. And there's the Cucheros River and Canyon. And now we're west of the property looking east. And again, you can see the dramatic elevation change of the Cucheros Canyon. Here's another photo of the electricity and telecom already in place. And then just as we've shown you some of the photos of the neighbors' homes, these white circles represent other nearby landowners that have developed their properties to varying degrees. These are satellite images. This is the middle building to the southeast. Here's the neighbor with the stucco and clay tile roof home. This is the neighbor right across Vista View Road, the log home. Here's some other nearby landowners that have a main home, multiple accessory buildings. Lots of times they'll have corral for animals. This landowner here just has a single home. So you have a wide range of flexibility. Then you're only about 38 minutes to the town of Walsenburg. Walsenburg is the county seat of Horfano County where the property is located. In Walsenburg, you'll find medical care at the Spanish Peaks Regional Health Center where there's a level four trauma center, the Colorado State Veterans Home, specialty medical clinics. You also find building supplies, multiple grocery stores, local shops and restaurants, K through 12 public school. There's a golf course in Walsenburg. And then just to the west of Walsenburg, you have the Lathrop State Park, which is about 1,600 acres. There's two lakes at the Lathrop State Park where you'll enjoy fishing, boating, water sports, and other types of recreational activities. Here's a map of the Lathrop State Park, and there are all the trails. About an hour to Bedito Cone, Greenhorn Mountain, and the San Isabel National Forest. Just a little over an hour from Trinidad to the south. Trinidad has a population around 10,000. This is Main Street in Trinidad. There are also grocery stores and a Walmart super center. Then just outside of Trinidad, you have the Trinidad Lake State Park and the 800 acre lake. Then about an hour and 16 minutes to the north, you have Pueblo, which has a population around 110,000. Then you also have the Lake Pueblo State Park. And these are some photos of Lake Pueblo. About an hour and 53 minutes to Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs has a population around half a million. And then just under three hours to Denver. Denver is the largest city in Colorado. Denver and the metropolitan area have a population well over a million and there's an international airport in Denver as well. We have this 40 acre ranch with amazing mountain views near electricity, telephone, internet and the 6,000 acres of public land with the Cucheros River and Canyon priced at only $29.9. All the property details are listed here on our website. The property taxes are only $14 a year. There's just a $200 a year maintenance fee that goes to maintain the 26 miles of private roads throughout the community there. Here we have more information about the property. The minimum square feet for a site-built home is only 1,200 square feet and only 1,000 square feet for a double-wide manufactured or mobile home. You can have barns, corrals, accessory buildings, cattle, livestock, horses, exotic animals. There's no time limit to build. You can use the property recreationally. You can live there full time, live there seasonally. Here we have the distances to nearby points of interest along with more information about those points of interest via these links right here. We have the GPS coordinates and these links here will open up the GPS coordinates on a Google map. We have over 140 images of the property and the surrounding area in this interactive map. If this property fits what you're looking for, please go to our website and click on this buy now button. What that'll do is add a deposit of $499 to your cart. Then click checkout. Once you click checkout, this window will appear where you can enter in all your information, then continue through the checkout process. Once the checkout process has been completed, we'll receive an instant notification that your $499 deposit has been made. Immediately, this buy now button will then change to out of stock. Only one person can place a deposit on a property. Your $499 deposit is then credited towards your purchase and we cover all of the closing costs. We make the whole process super simple and it can be completed in as little as a day. The remaining balance may be paid by wire transfer, cashier's check, ACH bank draft, credit card, debit card, or any combination of these methods. If you have any questions, our phone number is on the top of every page of our website. That number is 713-597-7670. That number also receives text messages. We also have this live chat feature here on our website where you can communicate with us in real time. If we're not available for whatever reason, please send us a message or respond to your next availability. You can also fill out this contact form here on our website or send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. And we are working tirelessly to bring you new amazing properties at incredible prices. And you can support us by sharing sharing our website and our properties with all your family, friends, and colleagues. And we really appreciate all your support. May God continue to bless you and your family.